Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss one more text function in Power BI called as replace. Let's look at the definition and the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Replace replaces part of a text string based on the number of character you specify with a different text string. So one important point here is based on the number of characters we specify, right? We have to specify the characters we need to re replace. So we have the syntax and replace and it takes four parameter, old text, starting number, number of characters and new text. So we have the old text and we need to specify from which on a position we need to replace and also the number of characters we need to replace in the text and what what is the new text that needs to be inserted into that old text so i had written value is a string so it's uh, we discussed about substitute in our previous video but replace is uh, different from substitute but uh, in today's video we're going to try both and see how replace is different from substitute uh, if you haven't watched my previous video on substitute, please go ahead and look into that video. So it has a clear explanation on what is substitute. So now let's go to PBI and then try to implement the replace function. So here is the PBI and I have some sample data set. I have order ID, order date, sales order number, terms, and total due. So with the help of this data, let's try to do something okay let's use the column sales order number it has so and some five digit characters five digit numbers so let's say i want to replace so with uh, its abbreviation let's say sales order right i know the position of so it's all it remains constant right it's always in the same position that's the first two characters so it's easy for me to replace it because it's always remains in the same position so now I can use uh, create a new column here and then call this as uh, replace example, something like that. Replace example and then use a replace function here. And then old text is sales order number. I want to replace the starting position. It's uh, the SO starts with the uh, first character. And number of characters, it's two character, right? S and O. So I'm going to replace this. And I have to give the new text, right? I need to replace SO with sales, let's say sales order. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Let's give it a second. You see now. SO is replaced with sales order and the remaining digits, right? Uh, the numbers, five numbers remains the same. So this is how uh, we can use the replace function. But uh, let's say we have something called a column called terms. But in this case, uh, the length and the position are not the same, right? So if you look here, the no return, uh, this particular first row, the number of characters is different. So similarly in second row, it's different. And as if you scroll down, right? So there are like uh, some rows where the uh, position of no return is different. Let's say you want to replace this no return with uh, no exchange, right? The policy is a policy term. So no return with no exchange. How do I do that? I cannot use uh, replace because uh, the position is not exactly the same. So I can use a function called substitute, which we discussed in our previous video. So substitute. Text is terms. So I'm going to substitute our terms and I want to replace no return no 
no return with let's say no exchange and then instance number if let's say you have uh, no return repeated several times like three or four times so how many times you need to repeat in, in our case it's only once so i can simply uh, mention it as once okay if you ignore it it will replace all the instances if it is replay uh, repeated five times it's going to replace no return with the no exchange five times okay so if i put once it'll just replace one time so hit enter and now if you notice here so this particular row no return is now replaced with no exchange right irrespective of what is the position of this particular word so this is how uh, replace is different from substitute function in pbi Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please drop a note in the comment section. I'm going to revert back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.